Hello, uh, welcome to Heating Geeks. Uh, if you watched the last video, you'll know that I left you at this point here, quite simply because it, uh, I needed a place to stop the video and it made sense. So here's the next part of this uh, this series. Okay, let's turn this on and see what happens. Probably go pop. Okay, let's turn this on and see what happens. Probably go pop. No, it didn't. Ah, that feels a bit better. Okay, so, as you can see, by the way, we're all live down here, okay? So guess what, I'm not gonna go touching anything. I'm gonna use this to turn things on and off. Right, and also because I'm scared that there's water and stuff still. Um, so, as you can see, there's no power on this blue wire. We're gonna turn the hot water on. Okay. The blue wire now has power down to the cylinder stat, but there's nothing coming out the other side. All right, because the cylinder stat is turned down. So this is the simple switching that takes place now. We're gonna turn the cylinder stat up, and you should see the motorized valve begin to open. There you go. And the boiler came on and the pump's running. Valve closes, you hear the click from the micro switch and it turns everything off. When you turn this cylinder stat on, this valve has to motor over to a point where it hits the micro switch and as soon as it does that, everything comes on. So look, as soon as I turn the valve on, the blue wire gets power, but over here we're dead still because the switch has to make inside this white box. Very simple. So basically, we got power out of the cylinder stack because the cylinder had gone cold. So it sends power out, which goes into the two port on the brown. And basically once the two port motor's over, it joins gray and orange together inside it. And the gray is already connected to permanent live. So it then runs the boiler. All right, very easy. So here, the daisy chain is from your spur to your programmer, to your cylinder stat, to your valve, to your boiler and pump. So it then runs the boiler. So what would happen if the micro switch in the two port failed? Well, that would be the equivalent of this grey not being connected. Okay, I've removed the grey from permanent live, and this is just to show that you click hot water on here, we get power to the cylinder stat. If I turn the cylinder stat up, we'll get the valve to open, and we'll hear the click from the micro switch. There it was, but nothing happens. The orange is connected to the gray, but the gray doesn't have any power on it, so it won't work. This is why you don't use these for fault finding, okay? That's a solid color for me. Obviously you're seeing that flashing, that's just on the video. We've only got seven volts, look. I'm doing my wiring video now. And we've got seven volts and that thing is glowing. And obviously it's off on the spur. So that was the, uh, that was the hot water side done. I took that gray out and showed you what happens when a gray comes out. Uh, that's just to make you aware of how that actually works inside. A lot of people don't know that. Um, but simply that grey touches that orange, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, now we're gonna wire the heating up. And uh, I'd already put it in here in the programmer, but just quick recap, don't mean to be boring, but 
It's the same thing, so it is boring, because what can I say? So there's the central heating on, in this grey wire. So I was into this room stat that isn't too wire. Same situation, here's our, uh, here's our grey for heating. So there's that bit, and then uh, we're going to do the same thing now into the boiler. Okay, so the heating's now wired. So this is the heating, this grey one. Comes down, into the room stat, out of the room stat, to the two port, out of the two port, to the boiler. I've run two separate wires here. Okay, the blue and the uh, the blue and the grey, just to show you how it, the switch lives are kind of independent, really. But in a wiring centre, what you have is the two oranges would be joined together, and then you would just have the boiler switch live coming out where the oranges are. So now let's see if the heating works. And look, I'll put the bloody room stat on again when it's in the way of the bloody screw for the programmer. Yeah, awkward. So, again, power on. The hot water's come on. We don't want it on, so we're going to turn the hot water off. On the cylinder stat, valve closes. Okay, we don't want the hot water off, we're going to turn it off. Let's, uh, we've put the heating on. So, I'm going to turn that down though. Right. So once we put the heating on, same thing. The grey wire becomes live. However, it is not live this side of the room stat. To get that live, we have to turn the room stat up. And as soon as we do that, the valve will move. That becomes live. The valve will start to move. As soon as the valve's moved over, and we're picking up stray voltage, there we go. The heating's on. Turn this off, the valve will close, and turn the heating off. Really simple. Okay, so here we are. Heating's on, on this programmer. The grey wire is live. It's not live on the other side, though, of the room stat, because the room stat is turned down. As we turn this up, we'll hear a click. If the neutral wasn't wired in, we wouldn't hear this click from this room stat. It has to have the neutral, and the click is the relay in this. There it was. Now this valve is opening. And as soon as that valve clicks, the boiler and the pump's going to come on. Boiler's lit. Pump's on. Whoa, dude. Simple stuff. So if any point of the daisy chain gets broken, the boiler and the pump won't come on. Okay, so that's how you wire this plane heating system. Thanks for watching. Okay, thanks for watching this. And uh, I don't know if you remember, but I said, start of an S plan is nice and simple. Learn an S plan first, okay? The reason is an S plan is simple, it's very linear. Uh, the control sort of system in it is very straightforward. Uh, so hopefully you've learned that over these last couple of videos. What we're going to do next is convert an S plan to a Y plan. And doing it this way, everything you know about S plan, you only change a few little, you tweak it ever so slightly to learn about a Y plan. So in the next video we're going to do that. And everyone keeps asking me to do a wiring centre. Wire a wiring centre, we'll do that. I'll show you my method. It might not be 100% right, but it works for me every time. And nothing in heating system wiring is 100 percent right and all right forget all this waffle um i just thought i'd uh, mention as well my website is now live uh, i'd appreciate if people head over there and uh, give me some feedback just leave it in the comments below this video um i really appreciate that and i will see you on the next one thanks a lot